Hi guys, Tony Luce with uh, Network Optics here. I'm about to show you guys how to uh, set up the NX Witness client on your machine and connect to our headquarter demo system. Uh, so give you guys the ability to try out the system before you actually uh, decide whether or not you want to use it. So uh, to get started, just go to your the download page here, select the download that's uh, relevant for your PC. Um, I'm on Windows 64 bit right now, so I've already downloaded that in advance, but we also have a version available for Mac, or if you're a real geek, uh, Ubuntu Linux, right? So um, double click on the installation package to get started. Uh, allow Windows to install the package. Click Next. Um, accept our EULA. Go to Next. Um, and here's where it's important. You want to launch only the client installer. Remember, the client is used for viewing and managing a system, and that's what we're installing here. So go ahead and click yes and click install. Click next. Uh, go ahead and place a shortcut on the desktop if, if you like that sort of thing. Um, and then click install. Uh, it's only going to take a few seconds. Um, it's really lightweight. So um, when you're done, you can go ahead and launch NX Witness when setup exits and press finish. And then NX Witness is going to launch the client. All right. Now underneath host here, we're going to put demo.networkoptics.com and underneath login we're going to put the username demo. Um, password is nxwitness. Go ahead and test the connection. It says OK. And then click OK. Um, as you can see we're now logged into the system and we're seeing live video come in. Um, so these are live streams. Uh, you can see there's recorded information for the different screens as well. So if I want to go start going backwards in time after I get wind of the, rid of this Windows thing, I can start to check out the different video that we've recorded over time. Um, I can also start to play with the UI. Uh, this is the NX Witness Grid UI. So I can go in, I can create my own custom layouts. Uh, when I'm done with that, then I can save it. Um, obviously, I've got, I want to make this three cells, not two, so back it off a little bit. I can pop in and out of different cameras if I want to. I can enhance the images. I can do zoom windows. I can uh, do motion search. I can take snapshots. I can play with the rotating of the imaging. Pretty much everything, every feature that we have, you guys have the ability to, to do for the most part. Um, on video wall, for example, if I open the video wall layout, you can see here's uh, two monitors in our meeting room and they're being controlled as a video wall. I can remotely control them. So if I want to change one of the monitors, like the left monitor, if I've set this up correctly, I can drag and drop the fisheye layout onto the right monitor. See, I haven't set that up correctly. Let me go fix that real fast. Everything in the software is really easy to fix and adjust. So that's actually the right monitor. And this is the left monitor. Let me see if I got that right this time. Uh, let me grab a different one just to make it. PTZ camera. There you go. So I can, you know, basically go in and play with all aspects of software. You can even change what's being displayed in our office. So there you go. That's how you set up your client and connect to our headquarter demo system. You guys have fun. All right, guys. So I've shown you how to connect to uh, the headquarter demo system via the NX Witness desktop client. Um, right now, I'm going to show you guys how to set up your own NX Witness uh, system on your own uh, computer with your own IP cameras and then go from there. So again, go to the download page and download the full install uh, for Windows in this case. Um, on Mac, we do not have a server application, so you're not going to be able to do it if you're a Mac user, unless you have a Windows or Ubuntu Linux machine that you're going to install our media server on. Um, but for uh, Ubuntu Linux and for Windows, we have the full install packages, so you can install both the media server and the client uh, to create your own NX Witness trial system. Um, so to get started, um, go to the download, which I've already done in advance, um, and this we're going to go ahead and install version 2.4.1. So go to yes, go to next, accept the end user licensing agreement, um, launch both server and client installers, very important, and then press install. So what you're going to see here is that it's going to extract the files, it's going to start the installation process. First it's going to install the media server, because without a media server you don't have a system. Um, click next. Um, give your system a name. I'm going to call this one uh, Tony Demo. 
Um, now, your login for the first user is always going to be admin. This is your system owner, your system administrator, your master super admin. Um, so you want to pick a secure password here. Me, I'm going to use 123456 because I'm going to delete this later and, and install my own system with a stronger password. Let's go ahead and underneath the allow system to optimize camera settings, um, which is recommended. And what that means is we install a OnVIF uh, profile on any compatible OnVIF Profile S camera that we detect or any compatible manufacturer that we've done direct integration with. For example, Axis. We did the Axis uh, VAPEX API. Um, so that, that we install a, a profile on those cameras and we tell those cameras, give us your maximum frame rate and your maximum resolution. Um, and that way we can get a really strong stream from them and then you can determine what you, how you want to record it or how you want to manipulate it. Um, the other thing we do is we ask for seven frames per second from uh, the, the second stream on a dual streaming IP camera, which most of them do now. Um, and we use that second stream, uh, we record it, but we also use it for motion detection analysis, which is our smart motion search feature. Um, the final checkbox is send anonymous usage and crash statistics to software developers. Um, please leave that check. That gives us insight into when your system goes down and we can anticipate bugs and, and fixes much faster with this. Uh, we also get some uh, usage information about, you know, what's the popular, most popular IP cameras out there. And, you know, that's important for us because we want to make sure that we're developing for those camera brands. So go ahead and click next and then click installation. So this is going to take just a few seconds and now the server setup is complete and you can tell that by looking in your Windows taskbar on the bottom right and, and, and you can see the media server is now running. So that's good. I'm going to click finish um, and then go to the, now you're going to start the client setup wizard and the client, like I said, uh, on previous videos, the client allows you to view and interact with your system. It's a rich media application, um, almost a media player. You can play offline files, you can play images, you can do a lot of different things. But when you connect to a system, you need a rich media client in order to be able to manipulate and manage the system in real time. So go ahead and click next, place a shortcut on the desktop, and click install to begin. Again, it's going to take a couple seconds. When you're done, go ahead and click finish and launch NX Witness. All right, so you can see I've done a demo video earlier, so I've connected to our demo system. That's not what I'm going to do right now because I've installed it on my own system in my office with my cameras. I'm going to go ahead and go to the Tony demo that I just set up right now, right? So you can see it's a 127 address, which is a local address. It's been automatically detected by my client, which is nice. Um, and then I set up the password is one two three four five six. I can test the connection, so I've got I remember the password correctly, and press OK, um, and then go ahead and log in. So you can see I've set up the system now on my own computer. I've my local system here has already detected that there's five cameras available um, on my local network, um, and this is a good example. This is a um, Canon PTZ in my office. So if I turn the, the Canon PTZ down over here, you should be able to see me while I'm doing this demo. So, hello. So that's, uh, that's it. You guys have set it up. Um, the, the, the final thing you need to do just in order to be able to use your system, um, we'll go over a lot of other different features as we move forward, but you're going to have to um, go to your licenses and activate your trial license. And the way you do that is you go to licenses underneath system administration. And you can see I've already activated a license. Let me remove that real fast. So now you can see I get the activate trial button uh, here. Um, if I click that, it, as long as I have an active internet connection, I should get four free licenses for 30 days. If you guys need any more licenses as you start to try out the system and, and try out the different features, um, or 30 days isn't enough, you can contact us uh, at support.networkoptics.com. We're very liberal with our trial licenses. If you want to try and replace an existing system and you need 300 licenses, let us know. We're happy to let you guys try it out in a real production environment. Thanks, guys.